hello guys welcome back to my new video so today we are re reacting to sleepy dekhne dijiye sleepies sleepy is he and he is doing a noob to pro without spending no robux and let's see how does it feels also we are free to play i am free to play i don't know about you and let's watch it and i am watching my tab there sorry for that 1 2 3 aur hamara sir aise upar ko rahega to so Anyway, Sorry. I hop onto the desert island. The first mobs here are just decent, not very much spread out, which can help players get more levels fast. I reached level 75 and stay there for a bit. I made my first combo. Not bad. I think no one else can do that. Anyway, I leveled up my mastery on spin fruit to 25 and give me this ability. Helicopter, helicopter. After that, I rolled a fruit and look what he gave me. A flame fruit. No more helicopter, I guess. I quickly gain 90 levels and head to the next island. After reaching level 100, I continue my grind at Snowman's and spent my remaining XP code. I also skip the Yeti to save some time. Anyway, I head to the marine headquarters after that. I gain an insane amount of level here because every mobs is mostly stick together. After reaching 140, I head to Jungle Island and roll a fruit. And look what he gave me. A better one for grind. Bro really loved me at first see, huh? Anyway, I killed the vice admiral first before eating the magma and continue my grind. And you know magma is not bad. Magma is good for grinding, but the magma floor I don't like that too much but if um um uh, don't look but um I used magma once um I think so someone gave me this perm no I don't think I have this perm but when you are not immune to anyone the magma floor is trash man how oh, shit my best to get Magma floor is not very good, bro. So um, that's why I didn't like magma. And if you have awakened, yeah, it's good. Let's start. Now we go to the Skylands. The mobs are not much separated. The problem here is the quest giver is above, and it's hard to go back and forth. I don't want to lose my home point at the jungle because I don't know where it is. Uh, so my dumb ass keep going back and forth. <laughs> and guys, if you want. me to make a block shot video like this noob to pro i will do half half of it one day i will go to 50 level and here is my account that is working see i have account name avta in this I am level something one thousand nine hundred and something type of this. <laughs> so this is my account. Um, um, yeah. Wait a minute. Let me show you guys. Can you see? Oh, shoe man. Damn. Can you see? Dip it like. Don't one non 
anyone asks me why i about this name so this is my main and if you want me to post some videos in this phone just comment and i will post part of these first one day i will go to level 50 and the other day i will go to level other 50 and like this i will do so if you want this i mean series tell me and i will grind till max i think so yeah i will grind till max so excuse me let's watch this video and tell me in the comments should i post blog shoots videos part let's start i am yapping so much the quest giver and use the hard way <laughs> Anyway, we reached 190 fast, but I stayed for more because of the XP code. We don't want to waste them. After reaching 201, we head straight to prison. I used another free XP code, and we managed to level up to 237, and I push quests now on the bosses in the prison. Bosses here are actually three, which is a good place to have server hop. I take my word back. Magma floor is good. Good man. What I do is lure the chief and the warden until I reach a certain level. As you can see now, we reached 240, and we now kill Swan. What I've learned on this boss pattern of attacks is, you need a range attacks because he will use strings if you're near. If you're long range, he will use a lightning strike light, so you don't get hit by it. Anyway, I keep server hopping and kill three bosses until I get to level 274. Because I want to skip most levels from Colosseum, but I'm so, so unlucky because they never give me an item drop. I went to sleep for a bit, and after two hours, I roll a fruit again, and look what he gave me. OMG, a dough version, 0 0.5. Before I go back to grinding, I change my melee first to Dark Step. Anyway, after that, we reached 300 and headed to Magma Island. I instantly bought the skills from Ability Teacher and went from the mobs. The first mobs here is so spread out, and it's just five mobs, which is irritating to farm. But I take the L and went to grind for it. Anyway, I rolled a fruit, and look what he gave me. A little... Bird. Bird. I already have one, so Emma give it to the noobs. Especially to the marine starter, because they are good players. Bro, pirates are good too, man. I rolled again, and gave me this fruit. Damn. I wish I can convert this to a real diamond. Anyway, I used another free XP code and server hop magma admiral. I used the remaining minutes on him and it quickly reached to 386. Bro really gave me a... Let's go to Underwater City. The mobs separated here as usual. I farmed the remaining level to the first mobs and skipped the other ones. Anyway, we reached level 425. Let's now fight the boss. The boss here is a bit tanky and will repeat his HP because he is mad. His skill will buff and increase more damage. I defeated Fishman Lord multiple times and farm my remaining level to the Fishman Warriors. We now reached level 450. And now we are heading again to Skylands, the upper one. Now this is God's Guard Mobs is good to grind level. The mobs are decent to farm and it's not much spread out. It also fast to respawn. So if you are using a 2 by XP code, I recommend to stay here and level up fast. After leveling up to 530, I decided to defeat the boss Whisper and continue to grind to Shandaz for remaining level until I reach 580. After that, I go to the boss, which is Thunder God. You can get killed instantly here if you are not careful and dodge his attacks. The boss can drop a good item which can boost your block's fruit damage. Anyway, this is how to get free Kitsune. Why kill me, Brew? Sorry. I taught we friends. Washington trying Kitsune moves. Can I have Kitsune? No, sorry. I ate the last one. Why are we still here? If he has... If he has one left, he will never give the Kitsune for free. It's the best fruit in the game, man. Let's go. Anyway, I server hopped the Thunder God boss multiple times and reached to 625. Fun fact, he never dropped me an item. Look at these, a goofy ghost again. Anyway, let's go to the last island, which is the Fountain City. The mobs here and obstacles are the worst. 
Although the mobs give tons of experience, you can't lure most of them. It's really hard, especially the second mobs. So I stick to the first mob, which is the galley pirates. I have encountered the first exploiter in my life at the first sea, and he is bugging me. So look what I gave him. A motivational slap and bring him Ooh. back to hell. I quickly made to 675 and go for the boss, back. which is Frankie the Cyborg. Huh? His attack pattern is easy to dodge, unless you're so noob like me. Anyway, before we leave, I learned the electric fighting style. I got tired of server hopping and just farmed my remaining level to the galley pirates. And there we go. We finally at level 700. Now let's roll a fruit before leaving the first scene. Oh my god! The ground is real, man. The ground is real. I'm saying that. OMG, I got my first legendary fruit. Legend. Anyway, if you guys don't know how to leave the first C, I will also teach you because you guys are noobs like me. Bleh. Anyway, let's go to the prison island and talk to the NPC called Military Detective. You need to go to the frozen island and kill the Ice Admiral. Now go back to the prison and talk to the NPC again. After that, go to the middle town and find the NPC called Experience Captain. And there we go. We are now at 2nd C and quickly level up and made 725. Now we are heading for the next mobs. While doing the second mobs, I come across to this look-ass cafe and someone mm. just gave me legendary fruit. OMG. Ooh. Anyway, I rolled a fruit after that. He gave me this. I tried my first factory after that. Look at these another one. Bro, these exploiters is so many, the core doesn't even stayed for five seconds. Damn. After that, I made my first trade in history of blocks fruits. Was this L? We reached nope. 750 and head straight to kill Diamond. This boss drops good item. <laughs> but as usual, we don't get them. After killing Diamond, I go back to cafe and look at these. <laughs> free magma laying around. I'm your new master now. Huh? I constantly farm and server hop diamond boss and earn my way up to level 775. I took a break and this bro rolled a fruit for me. Bro rolled for me because he can't give me leopard fruit. Now we can go to the second quest giver. Where I grind my level up to 790. Anyway, we reach level 800 fast. I also skipped Jeremy in earlier. I once trade my gum fruit to get the light fruit. I began to go to fruit gotcha, but then this happened. Bruh. Bruh. After storage, wow. I traded light fruit. I ate the light fruit in roll because I don't have storage. Either I lose it or use it, right? Huh? The light is good anyway. How to get the hidden I could also V2 the light since I'm on C2. I began to grind as many hours as I can until I completed all V1 light fruit mastery. Look at these. A trash roll. Bruh. Anyway, although the light is good for grinding and such. Good damage. Good for getting quest because of flight. I don't think it will have the advantage when it comes to the biggest bird. Woo! The Buddha. After I checked the dealer, I saw the Buddha on stock. I don't have much money because I bought the soul cane on first C. But I quickly take a grind and earn money by using light. I got the Buddha and I'm much more happy. Until I keep punching and punching and punching like it's not gonna end. But anyway, since it is what it is to get the max level fast, I keep grinding. I quickly defeated Jeremy. And to get level 899, now we are ready to leave the island to go for the green zone. The mobs are really spread out like people during epidemic. But using Buddha has an advantage to dash into the enemy like it's almost in front on them fast. It has cleave damage all around. You can even attack even if they're at the back of you. Wait, pause. Anyway, I defeat Buddha and he give me meteorite. Like I'm gonna eat that thing because I'm so hungry for levels. So I defeated more of him, so I can move to the next island. I got another fruit, but it's not dragon, so it's not good anyways. I quickly go to the graveyard and defeat zombies. Yay, we are level 975. I just need to defeat the vampires, and we're at level 1000. I'm so noob that I didn't record, but as you can see, we are now 1000. But... And we go headed to the next island, which is Snow Mountain. As usual, the mobs are so spread out. But it gives a good exp, and I made more levels fast. 
Anyway, I quickly rest and rolled the best fruit in the galaxy of Blocks fruits. Uh, I defeated the, the mobs in, in the Snow game. Island and reached 1,100. OMG, we are almost to the 1,500, but now we are going to the hot and cold island because we need to be warm. Like my ball. Anyway, I quickly headed there and defeat lab subordinates of Dr. Vegapunk. Easy. I just go on top of the igloo so I don't get combo by these mobs. Anyway, I got the chop fruit. Uh -huh. I quickly headed back to the island, but suddenly the Shanks arm eater pop up. The hackers and bounty hunters quickly pop up too like a mushroom and we defeated them. I got curious on this fist of darkness and use it on this island. What the fuck? Fist Look how of fast darkness? These players are. They're already here. The players killed me, and now I don't know where it is. But after a second, they killed Darkbeard, and I still got the rewards while finding the island like I share Zoro's The first brain. one, damn. Anyway, I get tired I also of using the three katana it. and get the saber and buy instinct aura, so my character will get more cooler, huh? Shout out to Arsenix who teaches me how to get saber. Join our Discord link in the description. I find a new server where they are helping players do Buddha raid, including me. They said that just stay at the back and we'll do the boss because it's really hard if you don't have awakened Buddha yet and low level. Anyway, I got my Buddha awakened and changed my race. Please don't cancel me because I'm not racist. But I changed my you, race you to must have joked that. It's a I good joke. I go back to grinding and gain fast level in hot and cold island. Someone wants to defeat me using portal, but the only thing he do is to teleport. I didn't want to waste much time there, so I Ooh. killed him. Anyway, I got leveled up and go for the smoke admiral. Although his attacks is not much strong, he can smoke your whole screen like he gonna. He is the admin of the game and wanted to kick me out because I'm too strong. So I killed him and get his fruit to Zioli's, my friend. My computer got corrupted and almost delete all the videos, but luckily I recovered it. Except the time where Bro I'm uses the hex. And three angel. The mob seems closer, so I got good XP and grind. Another star fruit again. Why not give me so much star in my grades instead of here? I get too much light fruit. Anyway, I put it there so people will be surprised. I grind level again and reached level 1175. I then level up now to 1200 after defeating the mobs in Hot and Cold Island. I quickly ran to first C to record how to get the water kung fu. And then come back at the second C. I heard that the core is gonna get destroyed, so I didn't waste time going there. And I got a reward for being the biggest bird in this server. I quickly hop up again to the island and reach 1250. There we can now go the cursed ship. Cursed ship is a bit small for Buddha, such a biggest bird like me, so I'm not much gonna use Buddha here. I finally got into the bottom of the ship where I can use the Buddha. The cursed captain spawns and give us a little bit of bounty and title. We are currently now at 1300. This is the role that I'm looking for, but please give me mythical fruit. I did help my friend in Block's fruit to awaken his Buddha before going back to the grind. And look at these. And if any of my school or classmates are watching this video right now, do not tease me at the school, bruh. I feel bad. Let's go. We are out of that miserable anti-Buddha ship island. I reached level 1375 fast and head to the next mobs. This mobs is good to get XP. Even though they are so separated, they can make grind faster. And they don't do much combo because they can't get near to Buddha. I headed back again to roll a fruit. And it's so worth it that I want to my hands to get rip off because numbness for grinding so much. This is bullshit. Anyway, I take a break and look at these. He really gave me a mythical fruit. OMG. But please not these mythical fruit next time. I go back and reach for Ice Admiral. I quickly killed it and head straight to the last island, which is... I forgot what it's called. <laughs> anyway, the mobs here are fast to spawn and as usual easy to kill using Buddha. Even though the quest is above. You can just set a home point near it, so if you're done on quest, you can just teleport. I quickly reach 1450 and go above. I simply go back, take a break from grinding by getting the dragon breathe from Sabi because the water kung fu is already at max 400 mastery. I try to roll a fruit and look what he gave me. A star for being such an idiot anyway. 
After that, we reached level 1473 and headed for this the final boss. This guy makes so I much, much good jokes. It. And I grind my remaining levels again at above. Yay, hey, we finally reached 1500. Now we need go to King Redhead and defeat Rip Indra. I didn't really defeat Rip Indra. I just summon him so I can enter the third seat. Bro messaged me through Wi Fi hockey. <laughs> After that, I went straight to the captain and taken me to the third C. Anyway, currently I'm at the third C and we are now heading to grind to the town port. The mobs here seems pretty separated. But as a professional biggest version 2 Buddha user, this island is easy. I tried to make 50 levels as fast as possible so I can move to the boss. Until these guys shows up. No, 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 no. Anyway, I did manage to the boss of the island and get the remaining level to move on to the next island. First roll of the third C. I think you don't really like me, huh? I rest for a bit and look what he gave it again to me. Anyway, I went back to grind. The grilled cheese burger. Yummy. A leopard user. Bro thinks he is him. I killed him twice and he never come back. I did then reach 1600 and went for another roll. Bro gave me a star. I wish you'd give me that when I was on first grade. I go back to second seat to give the wait, shark wait, man wait, karate wait, 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 because my so hands are having abs now. For and guys, don't tell me to do um every part, not to every part, direct one to max. I can do that now. You are watching a video right now. So, he is an adult. And I'm a child in class 7. So, I can't wake up the whole night and my mother won't allow me to do so. So, that's why don't tell me to grind 1 to max overnight and extra extra extra. I can only grind to 150 levels every part of the video. And I'll make and I'll try to try to make the best video for you guys because I love you guys so much. Let's go. Went back to third C, killed the cake prince with the army of hackers, and gave me a pale scarf. I just use this scarf for wider vision on instinct aura. Our pretty face is covered up, so it's not good in style. <laughs> Anyway, this Amazon island is so big and the mobs are so separated like they really hated each other. What does funny here is that the mob seems pretty drunk every time they spawn. <laughs> I'm now level 1675. We are now seeing the boss, which is the Boa Hancock. She uses old version of Love Fruit and gives so much bounty and level so Emma stick to server hopping. She gave us her bow. We now finally out of this miserable, lonely, ah, uh, island. Let's go now to the next. The mobs on this island is much more worse, but there's no other way to lure them all and kill. Anyway, the spawn time is not that much fast as well, so you just to kill them all one by one. We reached 1750 now and headed for the boss. But before that, I searched the top of this tree and see if I could find anything there. I saw an invincible misc. This top of the tree looks like my head right now. Anyway, I server hopped again many times and level up to 1775. I roll a fruit and look what he gave me. An anti-sword players. I will eat this soon. It's very effective. It's better than Kitsune. Try it. I got back again at the second C to rest and look at these. I found the master of auras and gave me a legendary color. What a sigma. I rolled then the best and overpowered fruit of the galaxy of blocks fruits. I made again another corrupted file, but we did reached 1825 now and headed for the next quests. 
This place is good to farm because it's not much separate. Farms a little bit to wait the mobs respawn. What is bad here is that it's near with the mansion filled with greedy 2.5 million wannabe bounty hunters and just wants to interrupt a Buddha farmer. Anyway, I killed him quick. He got no match with the biggest bird in the game. I made a promise to Xylees that if he doesn't give me anything good fruit in this video, he is gay. Don't let me down, bro. We then moved to Upper Quest and reached 1875. We are now needed to defeat Captain Elephant. I heard that this boss drops valuable items too. Anyway, this is also a good way to server hop because every time I spawned a mansion, I can just use Instinct Aura if the boss is there. The Quest Giver is also near, so it's a win to server hop on this one. Anyway, we reached 1900 OMG, it's so fast. But I feel like I need my arms to rest for a week for all of this grinding. Speaking of rest, he giving me a sign using his fruit. Anyways, we hopped on again and defeated jungle pirates. A bounty hunter come up and I get to slap him in the face. I went to roll a gotcha and look at what he gave me. Look at that big smile. You think I'm happy too, you son of a bitch. I got a bandana for killing this lonely ah mob here. I went back to grinding and server hop again, the beautiful pirate. I don't recommend this boss for server hopping because first she has so much damage. Second, the quest and where you spawn is so far. But I still did it because I'm brain dead. Anyway, I just rest again for grinding and roll a fruit and look what he gave me. A flame so I can burn him and put it back to his ass. I also did find the legendary swordsman which give me this sword. I then move on to Graveyard, where I fought many skeletons before reaching 2000. And now let's roll a fruit. I'm so happy. What you're witnessing now is me facing the most feared Blocks Fruit user in Blocks Fruits. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Bro, Kitsune is so mad. I just want to sit on his back. What do you mean by that? Anyway, I moved on and reached for the next quest, which is in Hunted Castle. The mobs are good here. Even though it's a tight space, the biggest bird can still fit. This is by far the best one to farm for now. Anyway, I reached to 2050 fast and will continue the grind there until 2075. I reached 2075, now we are headed to the Peanut Island, which is the opposite of this graveyard castle. Although the mobs are stick, the tree, the houses, and nuts are all over the place. These nuts? <laughs> After I reached 2100 in the first quest giver, I get back to the graveyard and level the remaining 25 levels so I can move on to the next island. Look at these. A trash roll. Bruh. I moved on to the next island that I hoped it's better than the Peanut Island. And here it is. I got stuck. Please don't do anything to me. I rest for a bit and roll a good fruit. I tried to drop it on the table and this happened. I guess don't ever drop a valuable fruit now. I quickly reached what then to 2175. So guys, this is for this video i hope you like this video and if you want me to play block shoot till 50 50 level i will do the parts of those hope hope you like subscribe and etc bye